The Jenny Wiley Festival draws large groups of people to downtown Prestonsburg, where it is known for carnival rides, great food, and live music. But not everyone knows the story behind this legendary festival. This festival is named after Jenny Wiley, of course, and most people probably know her name from our state park, and uh, not many people may know this, but our state park right here is actually the only state park in Kentucky named after a female, and certainly a very deserving one. So without going into the entire story, because they can catch that actually uh, at the festival this year with the Jenny Wiley story, um, she was one of the best and greatest pioneer women to come out of Kentucky and eastern Kentucky right here in the mountains. Um, she was held captive, lost most of her family, and she just kept fighting strong for nearly a year, um, was able to escape captivity, make it back home, and to continue to flourish. And her story is just absolutely incredible. And what we're really excited about, a new addition to this year's festival, is there will be, um, if people remember the Jenny Wiley story, known and loved here at the amphitheater, um, they're going to be doing little mini versions of that. So they're going to be doing monologues at a variety of different times throughout the weekend and then also a chance for kids to come out and get to work with um, some of those performers and different activities, so really learn the history and then get involved in themselves. This festival is very unique because it offers a variety of name brand goods, but also a designated tent for handcrafted pieces from the local community. And so you can actually go to one spot if you're looking for that really unique item or that, that local boutique, you can go directly to a spot there and shop tons of great handmade things. I know Christmas is right around the corner. This is where I do a lot of my Christmas shopping. And then also we have another entire lot uh, dedicated to um, a variety of different festival vendors that, that may have those, um, those brand names that you're looking for um, and items that you look for at festivals every year as well. So a little bit of everything and the way that they've designed it this year is to make it easy as possible to find what you're looking for because our, our festival kind of takes up all of downtown. Um, so it's make it super easy and, and able to shop very easily. <laughs> but this really is a small town community festival. So you have things like a pumpkin derby, and which is just amazing. You have um, front porch picking that comes out from the community. You have bands that come out from the community. You have a pet contest. And so there's so many things that you know and love from a festival, but also there's all these little moments that highlight the best of Prestonsburg and Floyd County, um, and really just ways to bring your community together. When you see all these different kids and parents coming out because they've decorated their pumpkin and they're going to race it, it's just, um, to me, it's, it's the best of small town being highlighted and, and just having fun with. Four days, we've got what looks like great weather on the horizon. It's feeling like fall time finally, which means it's the perfect time for a good fall festival. Uh, there's tons of events going on, so if anybody's looking for um, what that special event they wanna check out, they can go to jwfestival.com and see a full list of events. Um, definitely, definitely um, take in some of this really exciting weekend going on. Come on out. <laughs>